Hello interwebs, how are you doing? I am doing well. Just doing a quick vlog before I film my Surrender at 20 video. Just for the record, I totally already filmed my top 10 favorite K-pop songs of all time. I just haven't finished editing yet. I'm about halfway done. So that's the thing I'm doing. And what else is going on? I just, oh my gosh, I made all these new bows for my Etsy, which I'm ironically not wearing one of them. But I made all these new bows for my Etsy. And I was super excited to list them because they're like really cute. And so I go and get my camera. Camera is totally dead. I spent like two hours like tearing my house apart looking for the charger. Can't find it anywhere. So finally I give up and I'm like, well, I can't like just never use my camera again. So I go on Amazon and I order like a new charger and it comes with a battery and everything. Don't you know the next day I find the freaking charger? Such is my life. So anyways, back on topic. So I charge the camera and I took a bunch of pictures and I have to list those bows and I think I'm going to list them in like a couple days because I ordered new shipping boxes for this new product on my Etsy and tell me how cute these are seriously they are boxes that are made out of the World of Warcraft trading cards this is the lid bam and you can put stuff inside the bottom this one I did in a like centaur dryad theme and some of the boxes are like themed and then some of them are just like random and then some of them are just like the outside of the World of Warcraft cards. This one's really cool. This is my Night Elf themed one. That's the lid. Oh, goodness. There we go. And then all the sides are Night Elf. The bottom's World of Warcraft. And they just open up and you can put stuff in them. And they're all reinforced so you could put like change and stuff in them and they wouldn't, they wouldn't break. And I'll, hold on. I'll just show you one more. This is the lid of this one. I wish that Blood Elves really looked like this in World of Warcraft. Like, why can't they have blue hair? Or pink hair? Anyways, hopefully that's a thing that they work on in the next expansion. It'd be a really simple change that I know that a lot of people would appreciate. But that's the lid. And then the inside is all World of Warcraft. And then it's all Blood Elf females on the outside. But, like I said, I did some of them, like themed and then I did some of them random and then I did some of them just kind of like random but they're either horde or alliance themed mm. so I'm pretty excited to put those on my Etsy they'll probably sell for in between like five and twenty dollars depending on how rare the cards are because like I probably had oh god a lot like hundreds hundreds and probably close to a thousand World of Warcraft cards just like laying around <laughs> And in all of my cards, I only had, like, one Sylvanas Windrunner. And, like, I only had enough cards to make one of the Centaur boxes. And, like, one, I had enough to make one Blood Elf female box. Although I could probably go back through and find some more. But, so they'll be priced based on the rarity of the cards. And, like I said, they'll be cheap ones that are only, like, five bucks. And then they'll be more expensive ones that are, like, 20. But I think they're really cool. And I bought these shipping boxes that, like, fit them perfectly so they'll come all assembled and... I'm really excited about it. I think it's really unique and fun. And <sighs> so I'm trying to get, I have to, I think I'm down to like four or five uh, hearthstones. So I have to, this week I have to make more hearthstones. And then I'm going to make more horde symbols this week. I know a lot of you guys have been um, messaging me and asking me if like the black and red or the rainbow horde symbols will be back in stock. They will. I'm also going to be making epic purple horde symbols. And I bought some gold and some silver clay. So I might be doing like some jewelry tone. Uh, horde symbols and then I'm working on a design for Alliance. Um, it's just a little more complicated than the horde symbol. A horde symbol is pretty easy to mold out. <laughs> it's not so easy to do an Alliance symbol. Right now I'm thinking that I might be able to do like the lion head and then like um, oh god what's the word for that like engrave the details in his face and it wouldn't be like I think it would look good. I have to do a test run. It'll probably take me a couple hours to just get the the base model done, but we'll see. I'm working on Alliance. It's been highly requested. I hear you. I'm working on it. Um, I also lowered the prices of the potions in my Etsy shop, too. A lot of people have been saying that they were kind of high-priced, and so I looked around, and the reason they were priced the way they were is because with shipping, I was paying an arm and a leg for those stupid little bottles. So I was able to buy the bottles in, like, super-duper bulk, and get a better rate on shipping from freaking China. <laughs> so I was able to lower the prices. I think they're like $10 each now, which includes the buyer's choice of hardware, whether you want it on a keychain or on a necklace. And so that's the thing. 
And I also added unicorn blood potions, like from Harry Potter, so it's like silver, glitter, liquid stuff. Um, I don't know how this turned into an Etsy vlog, it was an accident. My bangs are like being really good today. I have to go get my haircut though, like I trimmed my bangs last time and I'm sure you can see like there's just not good. <laughs> I shouldn't cut my own hair. I shouldn't do it. Oh, these are on my Etsy too. Oh, is this turned around? No, it's not. Bimo, how cute, right? He's so cute. I love this. I made it. Um, oh, me and my grandma went and got tattoos. Yep. <laughs> it was fun. This is the one that I got. It's a ladybug, and she got a ladybug, and she's so hardcore, she got it on her chest. I thought she was going to get it on, like, her shoulder or the back of her neck, and she just comes out and she's like, I want it on my chest. And I'm like, holy crap, Grandma, you're hardcore. And she's so funny, because I think she was expecting it to hurt, like, a lot. <laughs> and literally, when she's done with the tattoo, she busts out this gem. She says, right to the tattoo artist in this packed tattoo shop, in front of everybody, she's like, I've stabbed myself with knitting needles and had it hurt more than that. She's so great. She's so great. So that was a good experience. And once our tattoos heal, I'll take a better picture of them next to each other. Because I posted a picture on Instagram of our tattoos. And a few people got really critical. And I was mad. Because number one, if you're getting super critical of a tattoo the day that it is done, you don't understand tattoos. They don't even look like they look the way that they are like the day you get them done. You have to wait a couple weeks for them to heal before you can really see what they're going to look like. Number two... She's 75 years old. A tattoo on a 75 year old person, like the skin quality is not as good as someone who's like 25. So it's not that the tattoo artist is bad, it's that a tattoo doesn't take as well to like less elastic skin. I like wanted to go off on people because I couldn't believe how rude they were being. I had this moment today where I just didn't understand like how people, like you really gotta think about what you say before you say it. Like before you hit send, really consider like what is the person on the other end, on the receiving end of this message, going to think? And if it is not something that is necessary to say, that is nice to say, like, why are you saying it? <laughs> really, like, why are you saying it? Like, I posted this morning that I was glad I had waited to do my Surrender at 20 video because there was a big League of Legends announcement overnight. And everybody kept saying stuff that was not League of Legends related, and it's like... It wasn't even funny either. It wasn't like they were trying to be funny. Like I have no idea what they were trying to accomplish at all. And I was just so frustrated by the time I came up here because it's just like, it makes me feel like people are trying to kind of like waste my time. Like I, I think that like Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram are all really good ways of like being able to connect to people like on YouTube. Like, I don't know if you watch me a lot and you want to like communicate, those are good ways to do so. And then these people who just leave these random ass comments that have nothing to do with anything, like being a person on the receiving end of just a bajillion random comments that just are so irrelevant and have no, how do you, resp like when someone just like, oh, I don't think I got enough sleep last night, <laughs> but I don't know, it's just, you should, you should just consider how someone would respond to what you're going to say, because like there's so many instances where like I would probably respond to more people if more people actually sent me things that were like, I don't want to say worthy of a response, but that had a valid response. Because people will send me things that just, how do you respond to that? I, yeah. I'm done. Clearly I'm grumpy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Or the night before. I don't know what's going on. Like the night before last, I kept waking up like every two hours. Because I, I had to get up. Anytime I have to get up in the morning, I get like wake up in the morning anxiety. Even though I get up at a decent time every day anyways. It's just like a brain thing. So I kept waking up, so I like kind of overslept and didn't sleep enough simultaneously. And then last night I went to bed at like one and then just woke up at like 6.30 on the dot and was like awake and angry about it. So I'm just tired, I need to take a nap. But I hope you guys are all having a great day. I love you all, you're in my heart, so I'll see you soon. Bye, bye.